will melted chocolate chips harden? Or better yet, can you temper chocolate chips? The answer is yes, it will indeed harden instantly. Likewise, it usually takes 3 to 5 minutes to become firm and shiny. Remember the heating and cooling of chocolate to stabilize it for making confections and candies is tempering. In that regard, it provides the chocolate with a glossy and smooth finish. In addition to that, it keeps it from easily melting on your fingers. Likewise, it enables it to set up gorgeously for dipped and chocolate-covered desserts. Will melted chocolate chips harden? Yes, it will harden. With that, make sure to utilize chocolate chips. The main reason is that they have a high chance of surviving in the oven. For that reason, a couple of gentle zaps in the microwave will not do a lot of damage to them. Moreover, chocolate chips do not possess sufficient cocoa butter to temper. Nevertheless, it is an excellent choice when making a quick and easy snack for the kids to enjoy. Can you temper chocolate chips? Yes, you can indeed temper and coat with most chocolate, especially chocolate chips. In addition to that, you can temper white, semi-sweet, or dark. Remember, chocolate chips contain soy lecithin to raise their melting temperature. Because of this, they can keep their shape when baked. Also, due to their increase in melting temperature, it can be a bit tricky to coat things with. Will chocolate chips harden after melting? If you plan to use regular lollipop molds, you should know that they indeed harden in the fridge. Keep in mind that they usually harden within 10 to 15 minutes. Remember that it will take longer for the melted chocolate to set if it has a thick layer. That is why if you are in a rush, you might as well utilize the freezer. For starters, when using a microwave, it can melt your chocolate chips instantly. Besides, you only need minimal effort, and it does not make a huge mess for you to clean up. Though, it depends if you follow the procedures properly. Melting chocolate chips in the microwave. Before anything else, ensure to utilize a microwave-safe bowl. With that, you must ensure that the container stays cool. Or it is only quite warm after several minutes of microwaving it. As a consequence of not doing it, the container will overheat the chocolate chips. Moreover, ensure to utilize a low power setting, it would help if it is only 50%. However, if the microwave you own does not possess this option, make sure to heat the chocolate chips. Remember, do it in shorter intervals. After that, do not forget to stir between each bout of heat. Note that precise microwaving times differ based on the quantity of chocolate, cocoa butter content, and oven wattage. In that regard, ensure to microwave an ounce of chocolate chips for a minute. Likewise, microwave a pound or two and a half cups of chocolate chips for about three to six minutes. Besides that, for three minutes, you can microwave eight ounces or a cup of chocolate chips. Afterward, make sure to use a plastic spatula and scrape the bowl sides. Ensure to do this despite the number of chocolate chips. With that, always check how much the chocolate softens. After that, remove the chocolate chips before they melt completely. Remember that the melted chocolate will indeed be shiny and smooth. However, they will maintain their form. Lastly, stir the chocolate chips till they melt. As a result, the chocolate will indeed harden as it cools. That is why you should use it as soon as possible. After that, make sure to place the melted chocolate into a measuring cup. Likewise, you can put it directly into the other recipe ingredients with the spatula. Melting chocolate chips in a double boiler. First and foremost, put a saucepan on the stove. Afterward, add 1 to 2 inches of water. Ensure to pour it into the saucepan. Then, put a shallow and dry heat-safe mixing bowl over the saucepan. In this regard, the mixing bowl must fit over your pan. It is essential because the bowl's outer edge should touch the saucepan's upper edges. Likewise, doing this traps the steam within your saucepan. Moreover, you should check if the water in the pan is not touching the bowl's bottom. You can do this by raising the bowl. Then, ensure that the bottom part is dry. Next, add your chocolate chips to the mixing bowl. Then, make sure to turn on the stove to medium heat. Remember, the steam will heat the chocolate as the water starts to simmer and release steam. As a result, the chocolate will indeed melt. Tips and Tricks 
you can try dipping a spatula, knife, or spoon into the chocolate. After that, set it down at cool room temperature. Make sure that the temperature is about 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Alternatively, you may want to explore other chocolates with a higher percentage of cocoa butter. Remember, cocoa butter is the main factor the tempering process seeks to control. But first, how does one know whether chocolate contains a high percentage of cocoa butter? For the most part, you should search the word coverture for milk, white or dark chocolate. Bear in mind that coverture chocolates use a coating with a minimum of 31% of cocoa butter. That is why you can temper them easily. With that, you can purchase brands like Kalbot, Valrona, Scharfenberger, and Cocoa Berry in specialty shops. Likewise, you can buy it at gourmet grocery stores. However, the chocolates mentioned are quite expensive because of the cocoa butter. Note that lower grades substitute vegetable oils instead. However, they are important for chocolate-covered strawberries, candy bars that snap and truffle with a shiny shell. Furthermore, make sure to keep stirring with a heat-safe rubber spatula. Likewise, you can utilize a wooden spoon till all of the chocolate melts. Not only that, but also you can utilize the melted chocolate chips to drizzle or dip. In addition to that, you can add it to your recipe. Bear in mind, when drizzling or dipping, ensure to let the chocolate cool and harden. So with that, please do it before packing up your treats to store them. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.